What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Musa loves fitness. Musa drama. Musa, just call me Musa. Um, I just wanted to make this video real quickly, just to talk to you guys. It's been a while. Um, the last video I uploaded was when I said I'm stopping keto, and that was before. That was around like November, Novemberish. I'm guessing around November. I don't know. I can't remember. Um, it's been a while. Um, we're in 2021 now, and yeah, I've started a say diet cut, whatever you want to call it. Um, simply because November, December were terrible months when it comes to the diet. Shocking. Gyms were like gyms closed basically, yeah, around December. I think, yeah, December, just before Christmas, um, gyms closed, everything pretty much closed. And you know, them, them times there, you'd be sitting there like, what's the point of all this? I'm out here trying to look. You know, I'm trying, trying to work on my body, my mind, it's my therapy, and you've just gonna take him that way from me. And I feel like I'm one of those just went, you know what, fuck it. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you, I just went, you know what, forget it all. I'm gonna eat what I want, do what I want, and yeah, don't I don't care. And I did that for a couple weeks where I was just eating absolute rubbish. Um I'm talking packets of crisps, not one, but like two a night. Ben and Jerry's every night two croissants daily like I'm talking it was terrible like it was absolutely shocking um I think the only thing that kind of saved me from going extremely like like with my weight going extremely high um right now I'm at 108 kilos and that's the highest I've been in a while 108 kg is like 200 47 I think around 47 47 pounds I'm, I'm guessing right now I'm not 100 percent sure um but it's around that weight and yeah like this is the heaviest i've been in some time and it's due to always being at home sitting down um the only thing that saved me because I, I should be around let me see i should be around 112 113 if you consider the things that i've been eating the last couple of weeks my dad came back as well um from gambia and you know my dad like africans you know how we do with the rice and that and i don't i haven't eaten that stuff in a while so my dad coming back i was like you know what let me let my body just it was almost like just go back in because i've always been on like a maintenance slash deficit for the last year and a half if i'm being totally honest i've always been like maintenance or deficit sometimes i might go over like one or two days but it's never been like a period like months where i've just been in a surplus it hasn't been like that for a very long time so it was kind of like needed in a way that's why i wasn't really like oh man i'm gaining weight I wasn't really bothered, I ain't gonna lie to you. If I was bothered, I would've done something about it. Um, but I wasn't bothered about it. I was just like, ah, my dad's here, he's cooking all this jollof and the, the, all this rice and the, the supers, the, 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 the beta chins, the, wait, no matas, yasas, all this goodness, all these Gambian dishes. And I'm just like, do I really wanna diet now? Is this the time to be dieting? <laughs> Everything's closed off. You can't go nowhere. You're just at home. Puff, let me, puff, I'm just, let me put us away. <laughs> more cushion for the push <laughs> i'm an idiot more cushion just you know what i mean just fill out uh, so i just kept on eating um my dad he came as well like, i introduced him to strawberry um st what's going strawberry strawberry cheese uh, ben and jerry's and then after that it was a problem but we was dropping them like every night every other night for like two three weeks ben and jerry's i'm not joking real life we was having ben and jerry's literally every other day or sometime back to back for uh, uh, three four weeks a whole month we did that. Uh, that's what I'm, I'm lucky that my weight didn't just go because I was like 104 kg when my dad came, and I'm only like 108. That's four kg in like two, two, three months. I think my dad was here from October, like in the middle of October, November, December, and he went on the fourth. So it was around three months my dad was here. So I did all right. Like four kilos in three months is not that bad. Um, and I feel like walking. I did do my daily walks for like two hours. Um, one in the morning, one in the evening. That saved me a lot because I still calories burn. That's around like over a thousand calories I'm burning just from walking around. Um, and the rest of the day, I'm literally in this seat. So my movement wasn't that great, but at the end of the day, the the, the walking definitely saved because if I didn't leave the house at all, it would have been a problem. But I've decided, you know what? Now it's time to clean up. Nothing to do with the new year. I know people like to say, "Oh, new year, new me." No. I don't believe in all that nonsense. Um, I just literally got tired. I was like, you know what? I feel like shit. I actually feel terrible. <laughs> I don't feel good. Do you know what I mean? Um, I don't feel good. And I feel like, you know, it's time to take a step, just relax a little bit. Take it down a notch. 
you know, um, do some home workouts and stuff, even though I'm not a big fan of it. I like going to the gym. I like the smell of the the gym, you know. And I, some of you probably think that's weird. It just smells like sweat. But I like the smell of the gym, all right? <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> I like the smell of the gym and I miss it. So for me, home workouts is just not it. But, you know, I'm not going to make excuses for myself. Nah, it's time for me to slack them. <clears throat> no, so I'm going to fix up. And also, I'm planning to travel to Gambia in April. And I want to go there looking correct. Do you know what I'm saying? I want to go there looking right. So that's in around April. So right now we're in January, around halfway January, February, March, April. So I kind of have like a deadline. I have kind of have like like a goal to work towards, <clears throat> you know, something to look forward to. So that's gonna keep me motivated, even though I don't believe in motivation as well. I just feel like just just get it done. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be an interesting next couple of months. Um, I'm definitely gonna take you guys with me. That's probably why I'm recording today. I thought you know what, this can be like an introduction to like a. No, it's not a mini cut. It's like a 12, yeah, around 12 weeks cut. Um, I want to be around underneath 100 kg by the time we're done with this. Um, actually, as of today, I'm actually 106. <clears throat> so that's just by cleaning up my diet for two days. Literally two days, I've cleaned up my diet. I went from 108 to 106. That's two kilos. A lot of it is water weight. And obviously, you know, I've been drinking hella water, so I'm just flushing out all the toxins and everything in my body. Um, so in the beginning, your weight always drops very fast. It's just how it works. Um, nothing to get really excited about, but that's just the way it is. If you've been eating terrible, like sh crap for the last two, three months, and you clean it out for one or two days and drink a ton of water and water you've been drinking in the previous weeks, and going to the toilet all the time, number ones, some number twos, <laughs> and just flushing out all that toxic in your body, sticking to your walking, doing some like work, home workouts, you can lose weight fast in the beginning and cleaning up your diet, the most important thing. You know, you can't outwork a poor diet. It's just not possible, um, you know? I know a lot of people say calories in, calories out, but if you're eating calories, just full of sh rubbish. Um, it's, it's, no, it's, you gotta eat clean food. Um, but yeah, we've dropped down 2 kg in the last two days. Nothing to get excited. That's just me regulating my actual weight. So in actuality, I'm around 106. Um, but yeah, that's why I just wanted to come here and tell you guys that, yeah, we are going on a 12 week, maybe a little bit, yeah, around 12 weeks because I will be going Gambia around, around this time, um, April. So around the 13th, 14th April, um, I'll be going to Gambia, inshallah, if God willing. And yeah, so I have a goal to work towards and I just want to feel better. I don't feel like, feel good right now. Um, so cleaning up the diet, drinking a ton of water. Um, there's a lot of stuff I'll be doing within this uh, series. I'm going to be documenting it, talking to you guys about things that I'm doing and why I'm doing them and stuff like that. And yeah, hopefully you guys can get some tips from these videos. Um, I'm looking forward to it. Hopefully you're looking forward to it. As always, thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting this channel. Um, I haven't uploaded in quite some time, but yet the subscribers are still going up. So that's awesome. And yeah, stay safe. Hope you guys are healthy. Um, let me know what you guys are how you guys are dealing with the whole lockdown situation. Uh, for me, the gym is the hardest part because that's my therapy. You know, that's my place I go to meditate in a way, you know, like release all the tension and all the things I'm thinking about. Um, my safe haven. Um, but yeah, let me know and I will catch you guys in the next one. Love life. Love life. Love life. Peace.